If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you like it, and share the friend think my need it. And the videos because I saw on comment, so if you have something you like me to do, leave me a comment and I'll check it out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So this song is gonna be open string, so we don't need a capo. And also it's a pretty repetitive song, so once you know a couple of things, you can pretty much play the entire song. So the first thing you gonna wanna do is play third string, fourth fret, and fifth string, seventh fret. And then you block those two together. And then you're gonna be playing the same fifth string, seventh fret, but you're also gonna be playing third string, sixth fret. And then you're gonna slide from fifth string, seventh fret, and second string, fifth fret, to second string, ninth fret, and fifth string, eleventh fret. So, and then you're gonna slide down two frets. So now you're gonna be playing fifth string, ninth fret, and second string, seventh fret. And you're gonna put those two together. And then you're gonna play fifth string, seventh fret, and Second string, fifth fret, and you want to plug those together. Then you're gonna play fifth string, second fret, and third string, first fret together. And then you're gonna play fifth string, second fret, and third string, second fret together. And then you're gonna slide it up two frets. So now you're gonna be playing fifth string, fourth fret, and third string, fourth fret. So it's. Then you're gonna go back to fifth string second fret and third string second fret. You're gonna plug those two together. And then you're gonna play fifth string second fret and third string first fret. So these are all sounds like together. play that whole thing once for the intro and two times for the verse and you also play that whole thing once for the pre-chorus for the chorus you're pretty much going to be strumming the a chord and the e chord so to play an a chord it's going to be fifth string open fourth string second fret third string second fret second string second fret and first string open and strum all the way down from the fifth string and to play an e chord it's going to be sixth string open fifth string second fret fourth string second fret third string first fret Second string open that first string open and you strum all the way down from the sixth string. So the strumming pattern for the chorus, you could do two strumming patterns. So the first one is gonna be down, 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 up, down, down. And that's for if you're a little bit more advanced. But if you want a simpler version, you could just play down, 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 down. So whichever one if you feel like it's easier for you, you can just play either one, but they both work for the song. So, you're gonna be playing from A to the E chord, so. It's where, and for the post chorus, where Sing, is singing in a different language. You're gonna be playing from A to the E chord as well. And the strumming pattern is gonna be down, 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 down. And that's the next chord, down, 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 down. And you play that for the entire post chorus. And for the last chorus of the entire song, you're gonna be playing this. Be playing that two times, and then you're gonna be playing what you played in the chorus two times. So, one more time, and for the outro, you just pretty much just play. Just play that. That's how the whole song sounds like together.
Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next time.